Yo, what's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Snow. Representing Corpse Can't Laugh. Bringing you another SOCOM video. Just saying about the actual gameplay. I just want to talk to y'all for a second. And, you know, wanted to ask the community the thoughts. You know, in the game and, and what we should do. And, you know, the whole SOCOM Unite thing. Pushed by a turban and, and, um, and Luke. And, uh, you know, basically... It what we gotta look forward to, you know, beyond this. Uh, so shout out to all the SOCOM players, old and new and new new. Um, but I know the SOCOM Unite. We want to do SOCOM HD. Um, at this point, I I wasn't I didn't really care for it. Um, I mean, it, if it came out, I'd buy it. But I wasn't really looking forward to it. But now I thought about it. Like all these other games are getting HD collections and. You know they were good games, and you know it'd be nice to have <clears throat> a SOCOM HD collection. It'll probably be SOCOM One, um, you know, just to celebrate the ten year. Because coming in this October, November will be the tenth year of the SOCOM franchise, and I think it'd be cool. Um, and with that said, I don't want them to lose focus on creating a better <laughs> SOCOM. Um, you've seen the last video. I put up as you know I was giving them shout outs or whatever but like I just wanted to talk to you guys to figure out you know what it is that you guys you know want to see now because one it is a third person shooter which is a genre that's being uh slowly rolled into over the shoulder um you know there's other games in this genre now that may make an, an impact depending on how it's pulled off and um, you know, I've seen a few games, both on the single player side and the campaign, on the single player side and on the multiplayer side, that are doing things that we used to do as far as the SOCOM games used to go. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys seen um, Binary Domain, or online footage of that. You know, there's a grenade arc. That's for starters, and you already know what that's about if you've been playing SOCOM longer than just SOCOM Four. Uh, also on binary domain for the for the campaign they're using voice recognition to do voice commands and f you know I, I don't got it yet it's coming in the mail but from what everybody's saying it's kind of glitchy and that's kind of technology that SOCOM has already did and you know perfected why they didn't bring it into SOCOM 4 I don't know but actually I do know it probably has something to do with the buttons um, the button layout number two um, Pushed up to talk, yeah. Control layout, not really feeling that. So you know, what are some of the things that you miss? Some of the things that you want back? Some of the things that you from the the confrontation and from uh, you know, from so come forward that you want to be included with that entire package? Because I think this will help. Um, shout out to SoCom Unite, SoCom Unite, SoCom Unite, pound sign, SoCom Unite. Um, you know, I think that for the most part, the co-op, you know, the co-op thing, I love co-op. Um, and I think they should keep that. Uh, I think co-op mode was pretty cool. I think it was pretty fun. Uh, shorthanded, so maybe, you know, a little bit more in-depth ways that we can do it. Even if it's like four maps, but like maybe five or different ways. Campaign-wise, you know they could just improve upon what they did overall gameplay will also impact how it's done anyway but like you know keep the story we, we can try that again I, I didn't mind it um multiplayer I mean I think if we get away from the control set for a second uh without bashing um aim down the site cause I don't think SOCOM should have I don't think any third person shooter should have aim down the site but that's that's up for discussion um, one I think all the modes need to come back every last one of them um, I think that what SOCOM 4 is deemed as SOCOM classic should be standard and respawn should be an option like you know it should just be an option like it shouldn't be like when you play Counter-Strike I don't even think there is a respawn in Counter Strike. <laughs> I don't remember. I haven't played it in so long, but like, you know, it's so calm. That's what we did. You you only live once, and then you got to sit your ass out in the round. So you got to value your life, and you had to communicate. You know, we need that back. 
into these games there to me there is no SOCOM game without communication and after uh, the first battlefield there is no battlefield without communication um, there are other games you know Medal Honor and you know Call of Duty uh, I didn't play Homefront so I can't talk about that and but several other games like it's pointless to have a mic but one thing traditionally in SOCOM we used to boot people out of the room who didn't have a mic else they had to tell us that they were uh, gonna follow orders or follow with somebody might be a mean thing but it was just to send a message and, and it worked you know we had people had mics when they played our game um, the lobbies that are you know from the popular first-person shooters I'd say those should be express rooms um, other than that the SOCOM 2 system of uh, you know you can get in with your class play with your rank um, then you had the free for all rooms, you know, which would pretty much be like the the lobbies or whatever. I think that's that's needed. We could probably keep the U.S. East, U.S. West, you know, keep that in there too, um, just to give it some kind of like feel. I can't explain what it is in words, but you know, I thought it was cool. It always was cool to me. The vehicles, you know, I'm as I said, I am a veteran both single player and campaign maybe not as hardcore but you know this is my game some people may argue with the the use of vehicles I typically didn't mind them and SOCOM 3 and combined assault um, but I know a lot of people that was pissed off with them so we can have that argument I think now you know especially with Battlefield leading leading the charge uh, and showing you how balanced it can be I think we could do it now. I think we have more information about it. We can do it. It could be fair. Uh, I, I think that's something we can bring back. Um, 16 on 16. I, I, I loved it in SOCOM 3. Um, I think we could probably just push it back to the respawn rooms. And then make the 8 on 8 the primary. Um, you know, as far as terms of guns and all that stuff, you know, that's always going to be a discussion, whatever. Um, you know, uh, oh, one of my favorite things is, this, is people may not get this unless you played it, but when you are chilling and you got your grenades out, you're pretty much undetectable by the player's senses, by, the, by your character's senses. Um, but if you have your gun out, your gun get hot if someone what we call gun hot when someone walks past you and you can't you know you don't see him but y your character feels him and his gun to get hot you know those are some of the things I miss um, and the, the way you avoid the gun hot is running around with your grenades out and of course grenade arc grenade arc I might have said that earlier I don't care but grenade arc because um, it brings in the tactical part of the game so um I think that's another thing that we we need back, and you know I don't I I don't really see much more. You know it just needs to get back. Try to restore the feeling. So if there's things that you miss from you know from the games, from the older games, and even from things that you liked about the newer games for the newer consoles, I think we should like compile a list on this page and then copy post it to wherever we need to send it and if you don't want to comment on this make a post and then we'll do it there whatever but um if there's going to be a next one i think it should be the perfect combination of what they try to include here including the airstrike i think that's as much as i don't want it to to do stuff like that i think that no one abused it and you got to give some kind of reward system but um you know i don't i didn't mind it once i got accustomed to it but definitely bring back the modes. If you're going to ask some modes, here's two modes you don't ask. Demolition and Breach. Breach is the shit. So, um, and give us the, the, the ability to create our custom rooms again so clans can shine. Uh, or you can just keep the rooms more control where you can kick players out and, you know, more time to switch teams and get shit straight. Um, the debate can be had for proximity. And one way I think it's dope, another way I don't think it's dope because if motherfuckers hogging the mic, you know, it, it becomes a problem. And I like to talk, but just not over the mic. So I don't want to be quiet in my house if I'm entertaining people at the same time or whatever. You know, there's many reasons for it. Anyway, it's your boy Snow. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think and um, holla at me.